really pretty easily. But for one out of six couples, sadly, it's, that's not the case. And um, so the majority of people are insensitive to what infertility couples uh, suffer and that they actually have to think about, you know, why it's not happening and think of what they can do. So um, let's, um, let's start by answering this question. Let me ask you this. What are the different ways to get pregnant? You can think about that. Well, I'll give you a hint. Prior to the 1900s, there was only one way to get pregnant, and that, that is just to um, have sex and get pregnant through natural intercourse. So the way that works is that the sperm and the egg have to come together. Now, how does that work? This is a uterus. Okay, this is a this is a model of a uterus. It's a it's a fairly um, abnormal uterus. There are a few fibroids in it and all that, but um, it will serve nicely for this demonstration. So, these are the ovaries right here. These are what contain the eggs, and every month a woman will release eggs, and when they release, they come out of the ovaries, and then they get into the fallopian tubes. So they, they come out of the ovaries and they get sucked into the fallopian tubes. So they're right here at this part of the tube just waiting patiently for the sperm to show up. Then at the time of sexual intercourse sperm are deposited right here in the vagina and the, some of them will make their way up to here. Now how does this work? Well when the sperm are deposited here in the vagina 99 percent of it is wasted. It will just leak out or it will um, just the sperm will die in the uh, environment of the vagina. The, the vagina is not very friendly to the sperm. It's an acidic environment. Sperm don't live very well in the vagina. But where they, they can um, survive is if they reach here where the cervix is. That's the cervix. And the cervix makes something called cervical mucus. And the cervical mucus helps keep the sperm alive enough that it can um, travel through the great barrier of the mucus and then up here into the uterine cavity. Once it reaches the uterine cavity, if it has any strength left at all, it can make it out here into the fallopian tubes. And if there's an egg waiting and they collide with each other, then fertilization takes place. Once fertilization takes place, then the baby, the fertilized embryo, marches down the tube into the uterus where it implants here and starts growing for the next nine months and becomes a baby. So that is the real obvious answer, right? So again, I asked you, what are the different ways to get pregnant? Well, one answer is through natural sexual intercourse. But there are at least two other answers that are correct. After the 1900s, technology got advanced to the point of uh, doing something that was fairly low tech and that is just to deliver the sperm right to where the egg should be waiting and how does that work that it's done